Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial on Wall CX tips and tricks. In this video tutorial I'm going to discuss the new feature we added to version 2.6 which is the null pool. You can access the null pool in tab 3. Here is a null pool. How, but let's talk about what the null pool is and how we can actually take advantage of this null no pool feature that we added to wall CX. Going back to the idea of null indicator. So sometimes throughout the generative design process, especially dealing with a very complex design problem, down the line at the beginning, something may go wrong. A geometry may not be computed, a one over zero situation may happen and such and such. And then the fitness value may become null. We call these solutions null solutions because this is a faulty solution. And with the help of null indicator, in Wallace, these solutions will be disregarded and will not be accounted in the evolutionary optimization. And the, red, uh, the green button here turns red and it notifies us that, hey, there is something Wallace is taking care of it, but it is advised to go back and fix the design problem. Up until now, you needed to go back and see where the problem is. This is a very simple problem to recreate something similar. But now with uh, version 2.6, Wallace also stores that problematic information into something called null pool, and you can recreate that problematic the solution and understand where the problem is. This is extremely important because then you can make sure that there is no null solution in the process, which means that your generative design simulation is actually effectively exploring the search space and all possible solutions available. And the exploration of the search space is happening more effectively without us knowing where the null solution is of, or without us knowing if there is a null solution, we are somehow being left in the dark because these problems uh, may happen quite frequently when dealing with the large definitions, complex problems and such. And so it's very good to know where the problem is and fix them. And with the help of null pool, we can simply fix and find where the problem is and fix them. Let's just do a very quick test right now. Here in this very simple simulation, I created something to recreate that problem. By changing this gene from zero to one, this problem will be recreated, meaning that Wallace, uh, the, the fitness objective number one becomes empty and it will recreate that problem. To, to show how uh, this problem will be taken care of. Also, in the geometry, I am representing the null solution with this color. It's just for only the sake of representation for us to understand how these things work. I can simply go to Wallace and run my simulation to see how this problem is actually being taken care of. So hypothetically, I can uh, expect that I will see some null solutions and then I can go to the null pool and recreate my null problems. I'm going to start this. As we can see, we have 26 null solutions. I, it's worth mentioning that I need to uh, reiterate this. These null solutions are not considered in the evolutionary optimization. optimization. This is actually the power of Wallace. However, it's good to go back and fix them because we would like to explore the search space more effectively and efficiently. Now with the help of null pool, I go to tab three. I don't need to press on this. It is already activated. I can click on null pool and it's giving us 26 null solutions that we faced. I can simply click in any of them just the same way that we have been exporting any solution. I can click I can add it to an export list, going back to my uh, definition, connect the phenotype. In this scenario, my phenotype is a simple like uh, box. Going back to this, 
and export my null solution. By exporting my null solution, now what was he recreated the individual number two that has a problem. Now going back to the grasshopper, we see, oh, pretty cool, because now by creating this, we can go back to our definition and try to understand where the problem is, which we know where the problem is in this scenario, and fix that problem. And now by looking at the, it's just like a way of representation that the cube is turned um, wireframe, it means that there is a null solution here as well, as we can see the objective turned empty. This is very important because if we do not take care of the null solutions in the generative design process, we are actually ignoring or missing out some important parts of the search space to be explored efficiently by the solver. So now with the help of null pool and the null indicator in Wallsy, you can easily detect your problems, easily create them in Grasshopper, and very simply go and fix those problems in your generative design and run the simulation effectively again. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed the null pool which is we think is very uh, important and also actually game changer in the generative design uh, processes and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Be safe and healthy. Bye.